Assalamu alaikum students, this is Farwa Batool, your O-level computer science instructor and welcome to another video. In the previous video, we have started the topic of validation and verification. In this video, I will be telling you the different validation checks that we apply on the data fields in order to make sure that the user enters reasonable data. Yes, let's talk about validation again. If you don't know about this term, go to my previous video because in the previous video, I have talked about validation and verification in detail. Let's give you a recap. The validation is basically the automated checking by a program that data is reasonable before it is accepted into a computer system. Let's suppose there is a computer system in which the user enters some data. So, once the data is being entered, the program is going to check that if this data is reasonable or not. And for the reasonability, there are some of the checks that are being applied on these data fields. So, if the data is fulfilling those conditions that are applied on the data field or not. If they fulfill, it is a valid data and if the data uh, or the input data does not fulfill those checks that are applied by a program, then it becomes an invalid data. Just like a phone number. In the field of a phone number, the user must have to enter integer value. But if the user enters a value that has a character in it, then it becomes an invalid data because it does not follow the condition that is applied on this data field. So this is how we are going to check the validity of data in a program. Now, quickly listing down all the checks that we apply on the data fields in which the user gives input. Okay. The very first is your range check. In the range check, the user specifies, let's suppose there is a value percentage. And in this field, the user must not give a value more than hundreds or it specifies that the number must be in the range of zero till hundred. We know that percentage cannot exceed more than 100. So it's a range check. If the user enters other than this value, then it will be an invalid data. Number two, the length check. In the length check, let's suppose there is a data field in which the user has to input his name. And it has a condition that your name must not exceed 30 characters. So, if in case the name becomes too big that it becomes 32 characters, so it will be considered invalid entry. The third validation check is the type check. The type check is already discussed in the field of phone number that it must be an integer value. If it will be a character or any string, then it will be considered as invalid data. The fourth validation check is the presence check. It is when the user must have to enter something in the field. If a user leaves a field empty, then it will show an error message. Let's suppose uh, sometimes when we see a form to fill, there is an asterisk on the field. So the asterisk means that you must have to fill this information. Let's suppose an email address. So the program will check if this field is uh, filled or not. But if it is empty, it means that you will get uh, an error message that the field is empty. You have to uh, or you must have to fill this. Okay, so the next one is the format check and the check digits. So, in the format check, the, the user or the 
programmer specifies that the data must be uh, following a format. Let's suppose uh, it gives you like this. Uh, a format AAA999, which says that the first three uh, characters must be uh, like alphabets and the other three must be integer values. So, this is a predefined format and the data that the user enters must follow this format. Or in other words, sometimes let's suppose there is a field of NIC number. So, it has a format. What is that format that you have to enter the number and then there will be a dash then a number and there will be another dash. So, this is a specific format that the user has to follow in order to enter the data. So, this is what we call the format check and next is the check digits. Check digits is basically used in different barcodes, in product codes, in international standard book numbers, vehicle identification numbers. It is very, very important. Why? Because it is calculated from all the other digits in the code. Basically, let's suppose you have a barcode. And in the barcode, you have certain digits. And there is also one digit that is the check digit. The check digit digit basically the importance of the check digit is that it is calculated by using all the other digits so that it will check that the data or the barcode is correct or not yes i will tell you uh, the check digit in the other video in detail this is just a video in order to give you an overview of all of these validation checks so yes now uh, I will quickly move towards my next video in which I will be explaining you the first one, rain check in detail and I will be sharing a program as well that will help us to check the data uh, that has some rain check on it. Okay, so stay tuned, stay connected and do not forget to subscribe the channel. Bye-bye.